Okay. So, um, with uh, the other Black October members, basically, uh, they just hang out with you. Oh, and um, Oh, well, that's right. We're getting ready to, like, blow people up later. Okay, no problem. Yeah, they just I'm hang out to, with you that actually, day. I, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and spill some intel. I'll, I'll tell them that uh, we've already had Americans kind of pretending to be Peruvians, uh, you know, skulk, spooks are skulking around in, in, our, in our hair at the moment. So uh, it's, I think they're more interested in us as Paradox Force than they are in me as Black October. But, uh, you know, the two things can't always be separated. So I don't really want to end up as one of these slabs either. They go, yeah, totally, man. And they tell you, like, they want to go in there. Like, Prime wants them basically to get their people back because that's what they do. Right, that um, And, you, didn't you know, and like, to do their you needed, thing. You needed Prime to tell you that? Well, Prime sent them to do that. These guys, all of these people you know from Thailand, these are your uh, uh, right, right. Uh, right. some of the uh, right. the people you ran with in Thailand. Okay. Um, so yeah, they you know basically you know got sent across the Pacific to uh, take care of this because they know that you're a point man here. Um, this makes perfect or at least, sense. I just don't know why they need Prime to tell them to rescue our own people. I mean, we can do that. You guys could have come up with this on your own. You know, you don't have to listen to a rock. That's right. It's like, no. And they have drank the Kool-Aid. They're like, right. uh, Prime is like the best thing in the world. He's pretty dang smart. I mean, Prime has been around for like ever. Mm. And, you know, Prime's <laughs> I, been around. I kind of look like over my shoulder in the general direction of the villa, thinking of people I know who've been around forever. And I'm like, right. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Prime has right. uh, been around since like uh, uh, 1918. Is uh, uh since Pi uh, Prime has been around, well, um, right, but you know, to Black it's, October, he's I'll, pretty damn I'll, old. I'll do the level stare over my drink as I go. That's old. It's pretty old, man. <laughs> as you guys sit there and uh, hang out, but anyway, you guys uh, do that, and later on, you guys, um, <laughs> my, my, do you guys get together? <laughs> my Atlantean is bigger than their is older than theirs. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> He's older. That's yeah, right. they actually, they want to know, like, you know, what's he like, you know? And uh, basically, they've already deified uh, Xenophon, like if you tell him he's an Atlantean. Oh, right. He, you know, well, actually, I'm, yeah, well, that's pretty obvious, I guess, if they've ever seen him in action. So I guess I am going to do that. But uh, but I quickly realized that just like they won't understand me, like, taking down Prime, they're not going to understand the fact that I think Xenophon, although to be respected and heeded in so many ways, to be sure. But he's really uptight, you know. So. <laughs> That's right. Uh, he folds his socks. Like, I, no, I don't mean to take up all yeah. the time of the session here, but I would like one little thought balloon. And okay. I'm, I'm looking at them, and I'm having a good time with them. We're speaking in Thai, which is great. Oh, my God, we're talking in right. Thai. Oh, fantastic. Like, and all that's great, but thought balloon. I've really come a long way. I mean, I didn't, I don't know. It's like I'm one gear off from my friends, you know? Right. It's like they're, yep. they're still, they, and, I'm, I'm like, they haven't changed. That's, right. That's it. That's my yeah. thought balloon. Right. Right. Well, yeah. And you look at them as if like, they're actually younger than you, even though you guys are probably around the same age. Yeah, I'm kind of going. It's that. like you know, yeah, you're like the elder statesman of you know these seventeen year olds and fifteen year olds. Well, they're, they're, they don't stuff. know that, but I'm sort of feeling old all of a sudden. So anyway, go on. Yeah. Right. Um, so, um, do you guys ever spend time together at your guys' villa, or are you guys just roommates passing? Um, you know. So what do you guys do? It's that evening. Oh. I think I think I try to make them have like some form of meal at least once a day. I've kind of like maybe you know drag the house charter up in front of people. Say like, like you know for team building we should at least try to to meet once per day. You know maybe a nice evening meal. No, I'm I'm all for I'm, it. I'm all for it. Now we had to go and we fought Bone Man and everything and got all wounded and chopped up and she made claws and we've done all this stuff. We've been fighting the power elite. That's our agenda, mm -hmm. and we've been taking chunks True. off of them. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm having I'm having Al. a meal. I'm, I'll, I'll have a meal with my yeah. with, with my allies. Yeah. yeah. But, Xenophon wants the Sunday dinners, man. He wants the Sunday dinner. <laughs> I respect that. I, I, I respect that, Xenophon. <laughs> I try. Get the family yeah. together. You know, have, as long as uh, I respect the, it. As long as we watch the Thai equivalent of the K-drama. I'm oh, it. man. If, as a side note, if you can, and these are the best, if you can watch Thai commercials, and they're like, five minutes long and they will make you cry these commercials and they will be complete dramas wow. and at the end it'll be about like tide or like dishwashing liquid or something but they will be these like these epic stories and by the end of it you're crying usually because they're so sad and like they will pull at your heartstrings and then you'll find out it's a tide commercial but they're long <laughs> They, if you can you can find them online and they're like five minutes long and you're just sitting there watching like What's going on with this orphan? What what's happening? And then it'll be someone, you know, washing some clothes and they are the best. Look look them up. They are the best. These commercials. I, I, I anyway. the, John, John Lewis, I think, does it. The Christmas advert yeah. every year. I don't know if you've heard of the John Lewis Christmas advert. Apparently it's a big thing in England. And you know, they do some very kind of cutesy Christmas advert every year, but they're famous for it at this point. So everyone expects it every year. Okay. okay. Well, so but yeah, uh, so you guys are um, sitting there. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so what's going on? All right. Well, so as we're sitting there eating our spaghetti, I'll be like, oh, hey, I forgot. Uh, do you guys recognize these three? And I'll pull up my phone and kind of scroll up so you can see the, uh, the photos of the three people. Do I recognize any of them? Um, give me, um, date any of them? give me, uh, no, no, you did not date any of these. Um, <laughs> give me a, both of you, uh, both fear strike and, um, uh, 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 you guys can give me intelligence plus, um, give me a scholar role. Ooh, that's a lot. Uh, 14 plus 13, 27, and I can increase the margin of success on the scholar rolls, I think, by two as well. So okay. 27 is my base, and but that's five. I take six, seven. So seven MOS. Okay. Well, okay. I have um, the 17, I rolled a 12, and I have a plus five. I was just trying to use my actual sheet here, like a good player. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what was your uh, total result there, uh, Fair Strike? 17. 17, okay. And your total result, uh, Xenophon? Uh, 20, well, 33 27. if you count the two MOS, but you put 27 is the base, plus okay. two MOS to the result. Right. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, so you, Fair Strike, have probably heard of them because uh, with the penalty of the minus eight, um, uh, I'll just you've kind of heard of them. They look kind of familiar. I don't know otherwise. Though. Right. Familiar. Yeah. Like you've heard of them, and you may know one of them. Um, whereas um, Xenophon has been looking into this because maybe he's been looking deeper into um, uh, uh, the Argentinians, and um, so you know one of them as Duro Fair Strike. Uh oh. Um, Duro's a strong guy. We we got that part. Yes. Um, uh and then I there's uh way past you on that one that's right <laughs> and then there is the De defensora um and uh delantero so those are the three that you know of and um mm -hmm. they are all um you know argentinian operatives um one of them is a psychic one of them is uh really strong and one of them is um basically just someone with you know an energy blast power so that's what you know of them what, and, uh, do they always work together do they no no not they... necessarily they're not like a team uh you know like a codified team that works together all the time huh? you just know them as just different okay. operatives okay. that you know work uh in argentina okay, so, so they're, they're, they're listening I don't know. They look kind of familiar. Wait, isn't that one that guy? Uh, 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 right. And then yeah. You yeah. just rattle it all. That's him. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I say it like as if though you think it because I love talking. <laughs> so I'll rattle off each person, each name, and kind of go, oh, yeah, actually, <laughs> look, he's on the left-hand side of that picture, <laughs> that picture. <laughs> yeah, he's pissed at me. Well, I guess um, these, are, these are three that we're supposed to uh, be on the lookout for. Apparently, they've been uh, digging around, uh, looking into us, uh, according oh. to, what's his name, Duarte? Duarte? Yeah. Duarte? Well, I guess we can try to look into these guys deeper. Okay. Even though I, I didn't already figure out that earlier. Maybe. I mean, we could we could get your friends. Maybe your friends could tell us where they are. Maybe your friends uh, could help help of, set uh, them up. What's their sort of legitimacy status? Are they heroes of the Argentinian, you know, government? Are they, you know, they're operatives of who? of uh, the Argentine government, which by extension is an operative of the power elite. Um, so these guys, and they're not like uh, known publicly, or I should say this, they're known publicly, but they're not well known. It's okay. like, you know, it would be like, uh, do you know who the police chief of like um, Minnesota is of like, you know, Minneapolis? So it's like they're not figures, hiding. But, right, right. Okay, right. Okay. But they're not you know, out there like, hey, I'm Superman or something like that. They're just operatives, uh, as it were. Do we so, know anything about their origins? Are they are they um, are they Black October members that were you know not members of Black October, but you know people with the black gene, or are they something else? Now, entirely? chances are they are probably Chimeran or Impusa, which is a Chimeran human hybrid. Oh, my people. That's right. So that is what you uh, know of them. And just that, you know, their uh, names are very descriptive of what they do. So we could use your contacts maybe to set them up and uh, spring a trap on them if you wanted to. Zeno? Mm hmm. They don't all know each other. You know that, right? <laughs> I was referring to her contacts, not the not the chimerans. That's right. Sounded, sounded yes. a little to me. Well, <laughs> well yeah. just, you know, I mean, yeah. sometimes there's a hive mind thing that people talk about, but you know. See what? See? Right. <laughs> Hang on. But, there is, wait, 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 wait. There is a hive mind. I love asking questions. Of, you know, <laughs> right. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Maybe. That's right. 